Hello everybody and welcome to the Canvas Components Overview. Go through this video because it will help you navigate or go through the page more quickly through the course shell. This way you can concentrate on learning, not trying to learn how to navigate through a web page. So I'm going to go through everything and I'm going to start over here in the middle. I'm going to start in the middle. Here if you click here, Getting Started Module, that will take you right to the Getting Started Module. That's the first thing you should do. Go to Modules, that will take you to the Overall Modules, maybe the Week 1 Module, the Helpful Resources. And here I have direct links because I think these are very important. Helpful resources for documents in the rubrics, and then helpful resources link to videos. So if these will take you directly to where you need to go. If you look over here, yours will look a little different than mine, but you will have a coming up, and then it'll show you what's coming up, what's due. It's just a little reminder. Let's come over to the main menu. The first thing here in the main menu is syllabus, diction, discussions. All of these are shaded. You will not see those. So you will see only the stuff that is highlighted. So first of all, home, you're on the home page. Announcements, if you click here, it'll take you to all of the recent announcements that I have posted. You will also receive an email of the announcements I post. Modules, again, modules, or you can go here. They will both take you to the module page. Questions and concerns, if you have a question or concern, click here. Then if you click reply, you can type in your concern or your question and then hit post reply. That will come to me. Give me about 24 hours to answer it. The good thing is other students, if they know the answer, they can jump in and reply to your post as well. Here, I should get back to you within 24 hours. However, texting and emailing me are the most efficient ways to, to get a hold of me. So if you're going to text, join the remind.com. It's free. That's in the Getting Started module underneath Contact Kevin or you can just email me. I'm very efficient because I always have my phone with me. And if I don't have the answer for you then, I'll let you know. I've received your message. I will get back to you. Then here, let's go back over to here. NetTutor, I have a special video for that. NetTutor is where you're going to submit your essays and they will edit and revise with you. There's also a person at certain times you can speak with or type with and ask questions. I have a video for that. Sorry about that. So NetTutor, again, will help you with revising and editing your papers. There's a special video on that. Grades, if you click on grades, you'll see your grades. I also have a more in-depth video on how to locate grades, how to look at the feedback that I type onto your essays and into your discussion boards. Starfish is lets me know if someone's not doing well. I can, I can get you some help or let you know, look, you're not doing so well. What can we do to help you? That's what Starfish is about. Oh gosh, sorry guys again. Make sure that your dogs and your smartphone is off before you make a video. Alright, the last thing I want to show you is the calendar. There are two ways to get into the calendar. You can click here where it says calendar, or you can click here because I put a link. And once you come into the calendar, you will have different views. You can go weekly, monthly, agenda, or or I, I like the agenda. So once it loads up, it's pretty neat. I think you'll like it. I also give you a checklist, so you may not even need to come to the calendar, but it's nice to have if you need it. So you can come here, click here. It tells you, okay, I have to. I have a quiz on the caged bird, chapter 22 through 24. Kevin wants me to read chapters 22 to 24 before I attempt the quiz. Quiz on logos, pathos, and ethos. Here, Kevin wants me to, let me pull this up. Oop, excuse me, I just lost it. Where is it? Here we go. Let me pull this down. Well, the essay rubric quiz. So here are the instructions. Kevin has the essay rubric here for me to preview, preview, and then he has a video. So you can see everything here in the agenda that you have to do before you complete these assignments. This is very similar to what the modules look like, but this is just a quick way to get to it. And again, I use the, let me pull this up, I use the agenda view, I like it. The only bad thing about the calendar is I haven't found a way for you to get back to the course itself. So click on dashboard and then go back into our class. So. You don't need to use the calendar, but you can if you want to. 
However, every week I have a checklist for you to follow and all of the modules are very, very organized. So again, calendar if you want to, go ahead and use it. So these are the components. Your home key, announcements, your modules, questions and concerns, the calendar, NetTutor, use NetTutor, use it as much as you want. Again, I'll have a separate video for that. Grades, you can check your grades. Again, I will have a more concise video on grades, especially on how to locate the feedback I give you. Don't look just, I don't want you just to look at the scores. I want you to see the feedback so you can improve your writing. And then Starfish, if you're struggling or whatever, I will know, I will get an announcement and then I'll talk to you about it. And then here, my awesome picture. And then here are some links that if you need to, I'm gonna have these open all semester. So, that's that, welcome to the course. The next thing you should do, if you haven't, is go to the Weekly One module. Because remember, the Getting Started module and the Week One module are both due by this Sunday. Okay, take care. Thank you.